Every single one of those cows was bred to be abused and then killed for money. Yeah, right. Whatever. No problem. Just give me the ad money. This is Face the Facts Friday, where you get no BS takes on the latest vegan news, followed by a roast of the worst anti-vegan comments I've seen this week in our Meat Flakes of the Week. So get ready to get fact. Audrey Plaza, the actress who plays sarcastic, annoying characters in TV shows, is playing a sarcastic, annoying character in a TV ad this time for milk. Hi, I'm Aubrey Plaza. You know me as an actress, but I'm also the co-founder of Wood Milk, the world's first and only milk made from wood. Now let's take a look at how wood milk is born, squished into a slime that's legal to sell. Is wood milk real? <laughs> Absolutely not. Only real milk is real. Then what did I invest in? I'd take tree milk over pussy bloody cow's milk any day. And I'd sooner pay a tree farmer over an animal farmer who shoves his hands inside animals to get them pregnant, takes their babies away from them, and then kills them. But hey, who needs morals when you've got that sweet, sweet ad money, right? Only real milk is real. As if standard dairy farming practices aren't bad enough, this fire at a dairy farm just killed 18,000 cows. Every single one of those cows was bred to be abused and then killed for money. Yeah, right. Whatever. No problem. Just give me the ad money. Only real milk is real. But at least this company in the UK made a nice little crossing for the cows. Ain't that cute. I wonder if they'll make another one to walk them straight into the slaughterhouse. I mean, that's bad, but add money. Only real milk is real. Then what did I invest in? Seems cows are getting a bit sick of this shit. This farmer tried to use that experience as an educational thing for other farmers. I've got an educational idea for you. How about you try not pumping her full of bull sperm and nicking her babies? Maybe that'll help you avoid getting smashed up by a cow. Cows actually do have a sixth sense. I don't know if you know this. They can sense when someone is a meat eater or a dairy drinker. And also they really don't like cyclists. Hey, we missed our window, it's moving. This is the future vegans want. Now this is actually the future vegans want. That's the only way to have a lamb for dinner. How many of your families ate a baby this Easter? And how many of you got into arguments or awkward situations while trying to defend animals this Easter? Let me know in the comments. Vegans are mad at Joaquin Phoenix once again. New photos from his new movie Napoleon came out showing him riding a horse. I got tipped off about this about a year ago and I made a video about it. So here's David from the past with a pretty solid take. Getting a big movie paycheck isn't a good enough excuse to ride on the back of an animal. Horses only let you ride them out of submission. No animal wants you sitting on their back, barking commands at them. But David, what choice did Joaquin have though? CG horse, use VFX to do a face swap of his face onto a stunt double, reject the role because you're a millionaire and you don't need the money? No. No, I don't think I will. But the horses don't get hurt. A horse just died while filming for The Rings of Power, the Amazon Lord of the Rings series, which I've heard is pretty shit, by the way. And you're chatting shit. Horse shit. If you think horses don't get hurt by being ridden. I'm a big Joaquin fan for both his acting and what he does for animals. But come on, man. Come on, man. You're an Oscar winner. You can choose better roles, can't you? This is not the future vegans want. I see videos like this, and I just think the Western world has failed. We're reaching new heights of degeneracy every single day. I don't even know what to tell you about this. I guess all I can say is, keep your bloody head screwed on, 
Don't get lost in the degeneracy. And also subscribe to this channel because we're always going to call this shit out, guys. Always. The handler who trained the horse that suffered that fatal fall during the Grand National has blamed ignorant activists for the death. The Aintree race was delayed by almost 15 minutes when animal rights demonstrators tried to storm the track and glue themselves to railings. Hill 16 fell at the first fence and was put down after suffering a broken neck. I think the activists caused this, actually. I'll throw it out. Oh, wait, 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 let me just, let me just explain. That's rubbish, let me that. just explain. Chaining themselves to those fences, they delayed that race by 15 minutes. When you race a race horse, okay. timing is everything. Okay, explain so the, the other days. So those horses are ready. Hang, hang on, day. those horses are ready. So that 15 minutes delay meant many of those horses actually had to be desaddled, hosed down, they overheated. So by the time they got back, they were unprepared for that race. There was not a pre-parade, which is normally when you calm those horses down. So that race should never have but been run. So, so, so explain David, David, previous deaths. Well, I just think that actually the activists have blood on their hands. No, that, no, they don't. Do. The whole point of them being there was to prevent the deaths happening. So protesters delayed the race by about 15 minutes, which made the horses a bit more stressed than usual. So when the riders jumped on their backs and started whipping them to run as fast as they possibly can at extremely high speeds, jumping over extremely high jumps, one of them fell and broke their neck and died. Wow, man. I mean, if only that horse hadn't been stressed out by the vegan protesters, we could have avoided this entire situation. This guy is literally a meme. If you support this event, you're just as responsible for that horse's death and the other two horses as the guys racing them. Because they don't do it for free. They do it because it makes money. Anyway, as this animal rising protester rightly states, no one's buying this horse shit. The horse did die over a jump. I believe the, uh, the horse broke the neck on the jump, right? And the trainer... Sally Thompson, I believe her name is, has blamed you for this because the horse was frustrated because of the protesters and that's why this horse failed the jump and died. Yeah, it, it's just a load of crap, really. The, a horse died going over the same jump. It happens all the time. It happened in 2019 and it was just quite a desperate and sad point. And, and, and really, the, the, the point is we didn't want the race to run and they could have stopped the race. But of course, they're not going to because there's hundreds of millions bet on it. And the breeders want to make money off their horses winning. So yeah, it was, I, I don't think I don't think anyone bought it. <laughs> yeah. Three horses died at this race. How about you stop breeding them, stop forcing them to race, and also how about you stop betting on it, you absolute scummers. Guys, listen, I've just realized, like just now while recording this video, trying to convince people to be vegan is wrong. Culture and tradition dictates how things should or shouldn't be. And I shouldn't be questioning other people's cultures and traditions. It's offensive. It's been like that for thousands of years. So we should just keep doing it the same way. I've just come to that realization just now. <laughs> that's right this killer just used the exact excuses that meat eaters use when arguing with a vegan they're identical each to their own it's my culture though tradition though unbelievable i see all you hindus there watching looking smugly at this video being like yeah muslims right yeah i see you guys don't get too comfortable. Five people just got arrested at a Hindu temple in India. Do you know what for? Human sacrifice. Culture though, am I right? If a culture or tradition hurts animals or people, it belongs in the history books. Why is that so hard for people to get their head around? Extreme vegans want to put an end to the goat snuggling business. That's with an N, snuggling. They're taking aim at a family farm in Pennsylvania, which brings baby goats to county fairs, birthday parties, or even retirement homes. The vegans say, can do that, that is exploitation. Justin, why don't you show me, if you can, how you snuggle a goat? Kind of like this. Okay, okay. 
Now, okay, it looks like fun to me. Why is that exploitation? Well, because some extremists believe that using animals for a monetary gain is exploitation. So they don't agree with what we do. I said, right, yeah, this is just so horrible. <laughs> it looks it awful. Honestly, goat snuggling is probably the least of our concerns. But it's a goat farm, which means all these goats that you see are gonna get snuggled right into the slaughterhouse. How can he sit there knowing what he's gonna do to these goats? Look at him. Sometimes I think farmers who say they love their animals are worse than the farmers who say they don't love their animals. The animals that are loved, they think they're gonna have a great life. They think they've got someone they can trust. And a farmer walks them into a slaughterhouse and lets some stranger shoot them in the head. It's just wild, guys. Sick. Seven people accused of sneaking into a banana abattoir and chaining themselves to machinery have been charged with trespass. The group is calling for a ban on what it says is an inhumane slaughter method. Chaining himself to a metal crate, a protester allegedly trespassing a banana abattoir. This crate, usually full of pigs, lowered into a gas chamber where they're euthanised. It's considered the most humane way. That's absolutely horrific. Anyone who sees this footage can surely understand why we had to take this drastic action. Police had to use bolt cutters to remove Christel Force before he was arrested to applause from fellow activists. The Farm Transparency Project wants an immediate ban on the carbon monoxide euthanisation practice, an inquiry into the industry and ultimately for the state government to encourage farmers to move away from pork. This is an industry that has lost its social licence. I think most good Australians who care about animals see this kind of footage, understand what this industry is doing. A ban on gas chamber could open doors to criticizing this entire industry. So I'm fully behind this. And also on top of that, it'll make it extremely difficult and expensive for farmers to continue doing what they're doing, for this industry to continue doing what it's doing. So get behind this campaign, guys. The Dominion team are doing a great job. Thank you to everybody who's involved in this campaign. UK farmer and all-round wanker Gareth Wynne-Jones has been getting death threats. I wonder what he did for someone to even consider sending him something like that. Oh, all he did was post a video on Twitter where he's chopping the legs and their head off a dead baby sheep, off a dead lamb, ripping the skin off, and then taking another lamb, who's still alive, and making that lamb wear the skin of the dead lamb. Like something out of the hills have eyes. Yeah, no idea why someone would send him threatening messages after seeing that. I don't condone death threats at all, but I do understand why someone got so frustrated that they sent one. Oh, but he did that so the mother sheep would adopt the baby sheep. So this is better. This is fine. Well, the animals wouldn't be in this situation if he hadn't bred them into existence to exploit their bodies. So that's kind of stupid. Another farmer even called this guy out. He thinks Gareth Wynne Jones likes to cause shit on purpose, that he specifically makes posts to generate controversy and that's part of his MO. That's what he wants. But he deleted it after getting harassed by all these other farmers who took a little break from having Gareth Wynne Jones's balls in their mouths to go and attack this guy instead. This guy's a real sicko, but we do need to control ourselves. Best thing you can do is highlight how sick he is to the public, not threaten to kill him. A slaughter worker was killed while trying to kill a pig. Some vegans are calling this poetic justice. I don't agree with that. It would be poetic justice if the pig got to live, but... That's not what happened. I'm not a fan of celebrating unnecessary death, but I will say this. At least the pig got one back for the team. What's the score now? Like 500 billion to 20, maybe 30 max. The important thing to take away from this story is no one needed to die that day. No people, no animals. Put the knives down, leave the animals alone and find another job. She's an animal lover. Mum explains why her three-year-old went vegan. She still believes in Santa and the tooth fairy. She didn't decide to go vegan. You made the decision for her to go vegan. And that's fine. Oh, that's forcing your views on her. Shut up. Everything you teach kids is forcing your views on them. It's called parenting. So I'm happy to say it. Force veganism on your kids. Do it. Just do it. Here's a controversial opinion for you. I think us vegans need to stop riding on this kids know best message. If you give a child an apple and a bunny, they'll eat the apple and pet the bunny. So what? They're a child. If they were really young, they'd give that bunny's ear a good hard chewing. What does that tell us? Nothing. They're a child. What are you gonna ask their opinion on next? The Russia-Ukraine war? You know most kids don't develop empathy until the age of three to five. There's a chance they'd vote to send in the nukes, the warmongering little shits. Just let kids be kids, guys. Don't put all this pressure on them, but definitely force them to be vegan. Do it! Now it's time to respond to the worst anti-vegan comments I've seen this week in today's 
Meat Flakes of the Week. It's time for Meat Flakes of the Week. No, I won't go vegan. I will go meat eating. Have a nice day. You're going to eat people's meetings. Watch out, guys. Better get back to Zoom meetings. This guy's on a meat eating rampage. Veganism is harmful for health. It rips you apart. I tried it. Now I'm vegetarian again. I think what he meant to say is it, you get ripped and he just couldn't handle having so much, so much muscle. So he had to go back to being vegetarian again. I understand. I understand. Yeah. I'm going to ask this vegans, how in the world did they made? They were made by their father by eating the meat of their mother. Someone's mum and dad didn't have that special talk yet, did they? Don't worry, mate. It'll all make sense soon. Yeah, I bet you do it all for the pussy, not for anything else. I'm also certain you don't get any pussy, even if it's a vegan one. What a joke. To be fair, there are a lot more vegan women than vegan men, so that's a... One of the many reasons to go vegan. Plants are sentient beings that experience emotion and pain. No, they're not. Mmm, cheeseburger. <laughs> the lion eat the gazelle. That's life on Earth. You literally quoted that from The Lion King. This is beyond ridiculous now. David Rams, you are a hero. Whatever you are doing, you are correct. Angels, God, and nature is there for you, backing you. Finally, a comment I can 100% unashamedly, undoubtedly agree with. Just perfect. I just eated meat last night, fried it with oil and peppers, etc. I also putted some lemon on it, and it was delicious. The meat was of a cow, if you were wondering. You know, they should make some kind of rule that if you have TikTok installed on your phone, you're not allowed to go on any other platform. I think that would solve this issue with these little TikTok numpties coming over to YouTube. If it tastes good, that means our body needs it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Your body needs chocolate and donuts. It needs sugar. It needs a lot of sugar, processed sugar, just sprinkled on everything. Salt. It needs a lot of salt as well. Don't forget, make sure you're pumping yourself full of salt, guys. Really important. The tone of your voice describes your character. Ooh, what's that? Deep, moody, mm, confident, handsome. Is this this old descriptors of my tone of voice that's working for you guys? I agree. You are either brainless or a dumb trying to show off, bro. Yes, I am a dumb. That's correct. This is the most beta cringe shit I've seen today. Now, the most beta cringe shit is using the word beta unironically. I found another one, guys. Another Karen. Well, that's just, that's just wrong. I'm a male Karen. Okay, now I see who you are. You are what some call a clone and you have no soul. Bye bye. I hope this guy's wrong, but how can any of us really know? I could be a brain in a vat somewhere. He's got me. Dude got a small dick energy. Dude, you're sitting on a moped wearing sunglasses. <laughs> if you want to support me making more videos about animal rights and veganism, please consider joining my Patreon team. You'll be directly helping me put out more videos with a strong vegan message, and you'll be able to talk with me directly using the Patreon messaging system. You could also join the YouTube membership team, which doesn't have that DM option, but does give you a pretty cool green logo on your name so everyone can see that you're an absolute legend. I can't do this important work without your support, so please do consider Consider joining my team and thank you again to everybody who's already a member. Keep calling out that BS. I'll see you in the next one.